What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel, Ultimate Pilly Boy here, of course. It's been a while since we made a video and this is actually my first video for year 2022. I hope everybody's safe and healthy as we, you know, live with COVID right now and uh, also with, with the current setup happening in our country. Uh, first and foremost, again, thank you very much for, you know, uh, supporting the channel. I appreciate all the comments from the previous videos that I have. Um, we're going to have a quick unboxing for today. And uh, I just recently bought an iPhone 13 uh, Pro Max. So I upgraded from my old 11 Pro Max and now uh, upgraded to um, a, a bigger phone. Um, but the main factor why I actually upgraded is the 120 hertz or the ProMotion display. I'm a big fan of it. I, 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 I experienced it from my iPad uh, Pro, the, the first gen. Um, and, and I actually wanted to have that on, on a handy gadget, which is uh, in an iPhone setup. Uh, I bought this uh, from SM Alongopo uh, Central uh, Power Mac. Um, uh, just so you know, if you're going to pay it for cash, uh, you're going to get a 5% discount. So if you have uh, the cash reserve, go ahead and uh, get that. Uh, the, the, the SRP here is 72990 So if you're going to do a cash transaction, I think it's just paid around 69000 so I was able to save at least uh, almost 3000 something, uh, which you can actually buy for other things. So uh, again, before we continue with the, um, you know, checking what's inside the box, because you're already unboxed this, I've been using the phone for, for one month now. So um, please make sure to hit that uh, like button. And also if you're, you know, if you want to look more for some unboxing videos in my channel, don't forget, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I uh, would appreciate definitely the support uh, that you guys are going to be providing. So uh, without uh, any further ado, let's go ahead and check what's inside the box of iPhone 13 Pro Max. Alright, so I bought the graphite black version uh, of the iPhone and uh, I bought the lowest variant. 128 gigabytes of storage is actually enough for me um, based from my experience on using Apple devices. So uh, before we actually um, you know open the box, you could see here that uh, there's already a brand new uh, you know experience of opening um, the box now. So typically you just have to remove something here up and down um, that will open the box uh, for sure. Um, same information so far, and this is the uh, original price if you're going to be purchasing it via credit card or if you're if you're gonna be using a if you're gonna pay it uh but not doing cash a payment so it's like a credit card installment or straight charge so um inside the box you could see the phone already uh, facing uh backwards because he did the uh, tremendous uh triple uh triple camera so let's just put this one aside the display is 6.7 inches and also it's being powered by um, Super Retina XDR uh, OLED display. Again, 120 hertz uh, promotion. It can go as high as 1,200 nits. Um, that's so far for the display. Uh, here's the charger. It's also a uh, Type C uh, charger. It doesn't have any charging brick uh, included. So if, if, you're, if you're an old iPhone user, you'll have to use whatever um, adapter that you may have. So it comes with a, a SIM ejector, one Apple sticker, and some uh, summarized version of uh, a manual so far. But aside from that, uh, that's uh, basically it for the content. Now, um, you're just going to be powering things on. I've already um, set this up. So just to show you guys the display of, of the phone. Um, what I like most uh, for for this particular model versus the 12 Pro Max and 11 Pro Max, um, yeah, 12 Pro Max is a little bit similar body um, uh, uh, compared to the 13 Pro Max. I did uh, make uh, an upgrade from uh, I did jump from uh, 11 uh, 11 Pro Max to 13 Pro Max, so I somewhat uh, you know felt uh, the difference between the two aside from the the, the, the display. Uh, I also experienced a very good battery life um, and also the experience on your hand of this 
uh, old school uh, type of frame. It reminds me of the previous iPhone 5, iPhone 4, where I also had one that time. So here's a here's actually the color status here, and um, you can see the very rich color um, so far of the Pro Max. Uh, it's being powered again with the uh, you know 1284 by 2778 pixels. Uh, the weight it's actually heavier it's way way heavier uh, than than 11 pro max uh, it's being measured as 240 grams the, the back camera is composed of the, uh, three cameras telephoto ultra wide lens and uh, also the wide lens uh, they're all 12 megapixels uh, for, for the front it's actually uh, a 12 megapixel camera as well uh, as for taking video shots, it's it's uh, it can take as high as 4K, so it, it runs at 24, 30, 60 frames per second. It now involves a cinematic feature whenever you're shooting a video. So if you're a fan of, you know, making video clips or storylines or something, you know, um, that you know this will definitely do the trick. Uh, the battery is around 4,352 milliampere's. And the color comes with graphite black, which I have right now, gold, silver, and the, the ever popular Sierra Blue. So that's it basically for this quick uh, checking of what's inside the box of the phone. Again, um, if, if you're coming from uh, around 11 Pro Max, 11 series, um, 10 series, uh, and the older versions of the iPhone, this is gonna be a big jump. But if you're coming from uh, the 12 series, um, I think it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be wise to wait for the future models around 14 or 15 plus onwards. That could potentially make a difference. So uh, that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching this quick video of what's inside the box of uh, 13 Pro Max. And again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that like button for more videos. Thank you and be safe. Peace.